Palestinian officials say more than two dozen displaced people were killed in an Israeli airstrike on a school turned shelter overnight. The IDF says it was targeting a Hamas command center with the attack. Meanwhile, there is growing backlash after multiple members of the UN's peacekeeping mission in southern Lebanon were injured by Israeli forces earlier today. Our Haley Mott has more. The UN peacekeeping force in Lebanon says two of its members were wounded after an Israeli tank fired at one of its observation posts. In a statement, the UN force said that Israel has repeatedly hit UN positions in southern Lebanon and that it was following up with the IDF, stressing that deliberately attacking peacekeepers is a violation of international humanitarian law. Israeli strikes continued in Lebanon as Israel says Hezbollah fired dozens more rockets over the border. The casualties on that front continued to mount. Two people were killed by rockets in northern Israel Wednesday, and the Israeli military announced the death of a 12th Israeli soldier in fighting in southern Lebanon. Lebanese authorities say five health workers were also killed there. Meanwhile, at least 28 people have been killed by an Israeli airstrike on a school-turned-shelter in central Gaza, according to the Palestinian Red Crescent. The Israeli military said it had targeted a militant command and control center embedded within the compound. But witnesses say the compound was full of displaced people, using it as a shelter. They say the majority of the victims were women and children. Almost 100 people were injured, rushed to a nearby hospital, along with the bodies of the dead. Back to you.